not going to be an 18650 day. Today is going to be yet a different project. This one is returning to me probably after, I'd say, a good five years. It is a regular Pelican case in which I've done a Bluetooth speaker setup in it. The gentleman that has this, fellow uh, military member of mine, works all week putting together and taking apart UH-60s, etc., helicopters, uses it on a daily basis. Um, it was actually my second ever build. It's uh, simply two three-inch drivers, two two-inch drivers, and two one-inch tweeters. This, after five years being used daily and at least two deployments, maybe three, I'll have to check on that. Obviously, it has taken a beating, it's been pushed in, taken some sand and dirt, it's been used quite a bit, but um, I'm going to end up redoing it all. Seems as though this is simply a passive radiator. It seems as though at some point this one has even come off, and he's glued it back on somehow. It is rechargeable, it is portable. It uh, simply has an on-off switch with a power cord for recharging, two USBs in the top of it, one simple button, sorry, real loud, comes with a voltmeter, so that way you know exactly what kind of voltage you're looking at. I'll go ahead and turn that off, we'll open it up, we'll get a look at the inside. We'll start first here. These are all mounted with nuts and bolts. They are wired for one channel, one direction, and the other channel going the other direction. Um, all of these are going to come out. I do have replacements for every one of these to include the passive radiators on the sides. I'm going to redo some of the wiring as well and clean it up since this is probably my second project. I've probably uh, learned a day or two from then. So this was the Bluetooth amplifier. You can find these on eBay. It's a simple two-channel, you know, uh, ground wire. Runs down to all the battery packs, which the battery packs were, these were not 18650s in the beginning. These simply come out of laptop batteries. They're flat packs. They're still lithium ions. I built them individually. Um, wrapped up in tape. Underneath the tape is um, a BMS board on every one of them so that way I don't have any problems with charging or discharging. They were hot glued in. It does look as though one of them has come a little bit loose. I'd say after five years and a couple of deployments it's not doing too bad. So underneath of the board which was bolted in is the 12 volt down to 5 volt a buck converter that allows me to be able to step down and get to his two USBs. So I guess the first thing to get on with would be to probably undo all the nuts and bolts and pull out all of the junk. <laughs> Build was that 
these guys that went up against the edge, I had to actually cut down the side of the speaker frame itself so that way it would molt and mount all the way up against the edging of it and not have to worry about being bent. So uh, we will drive on from here. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Put that somewhere. And a little bit of a comparison. There's the old ones. Now, these are all ordered from uh, Parts Express. They are based in Ohio. And there you have it. Brand new against five years of being beat to death. That's for the, the larger drivers. Um, you'll notice on this one there is a little bit of what looks like a rubber sticking up. That is actually a black silicone that I put on once the speaker was mounted to the bottom side. I wanted to make sure that this sealed real well, so I ended up taking um, black silicone, put it in a large uh, syringe, and then just simply feeding it around the edge of the box and making a seal. It seemed to work well all the way across the board around all of them. So let's get the mains out of the way. Now, for the next ones down, the twos and the subsequent ones, these also come from Parts Express. Now, the difference is that they don't come as individual pieces. You could probably find them somewhere, but what they actually came out of was speakers that were originally designed for TVs. They were, I forget what they were actually out of, but they were on sale, they were on a, a closeout. A lot of these were not used in TVs, so I ended up picking up a bunch of them in lifts and rights. They do come in pairs. Two two-inch drivers, one one-inch tweeter. This is all one big chamber, and it does come with a passive radiator on the back. It, uh, it actually, for two little bitty ones like that, it actually sounds pretty decent for a couple little desktops. I thought about actually standing them up and uh, just making a set of uh, mini tower speakers for the next uh, next to my monitors. Um, it looks like these are made by Philips. Uh, 3141, 130, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1. They're a 15 watt of 4 ohms. You may be able to find these on there at Parts Express. You may not. Um, I bought, I don't know how many of them I bought when they were on the closeout. As you can see, I've been messing with them for something else. So, now this is where the tricky part comes in at, is that these are easy to get out. You simply crack, you know, unscrew all of this. These all come out of here, and you can get them out. The tricky part is where the passive radiator comes in at. So the original passive radiator on the end of it looks just like that one. So what I end up doing is actually taking this entire piece to a bandsaw and saw down across here to get that actual passive radiator off of there. And then to be able to get rid of some of these little extra pieces here, you just simply take it to a belt sander and sand it down and then you can actually mount it on there. This one's a little bit rough. It looks like I probably took it to the belt sander a little much, made it hot, but either way, those will come off of there. They will get two brand new ones. This one, as you can see, is breaking off. I don't know if he's added glue to that one or not. Oh, I'm guessing not. Yeah, it looks like it comes apart fairly easy. Yeah. He's re-glued it at some point. So I'll get all that cleaned up later. So we'll get these tore apart. So I believe originally when I was messing with these, that these were a little bit fun to get apart. They're glued together all the way around. So 
I remember right, I took a bandsaw and just cut it straight across here, which opens up this entire cavity and makes it a lot easier to pull this apart. I will not um, go into tearing these down today. I will get that bandsaw off and come back to that. And there are the tubes. As you can see, they've uh, had better days. All the centers, it looks like they've been pushed in and probably popped back out once or twice. Um, these, I guess it looks like there's a little metal in the middle of them. <coughs> I have to get that out of there. And then, um, I think at worst case scenario, I could probably get these bolted back in already. Actually, I'll wait on that. Let's get some other stuff taken apart. So down to the amplifier. Simple amplifier, found them on eBay. They come in multiples of sizes. Um, I don't remember what this one was. It was like a TP something or rather. But let's uh, go ahead and get the old wiring out. That way we can get new wiring in. Do that fast enough, it won't even burn you. Okay, so that's stripped down. We have one amplifier stripped. We have all the old out. We have two of the new ones. Actually, four of the new ones. We have another one in the box. We'll have to acquire a couple of the amplifiers, and then we will start with the rebuild in part two. So, as usual, like I say, uh, like, subscribe, get notified. There will be more, not only Bluetooth speaker boxes, there will be things of various array between phone chargers, what it's like to drive a 2019 Chevy Bolt, and more. So stay tuned.